Yesterday we're joined by Tim Watson who didn't really have a fair well look at Timmy in the middle there I reckon he must have been pumping iron for a month he hasn't looked that good for ages but for TD and Simon Madden they were both injured yesterday so it was a bit, a bit unlucky for them look at this little bit of by play between Simon and Barry Stoneham Billy Brown has kicked eight gave one away to Jeff Miles there Brownless has come home with a rush he's taken the leading goal kicker Date right. six and a couple of assists could have easily kicked 12 goals and was a great player Gary Hocking, I thought, was their best um, on ball or link player, most productive for four quarters. And Ken Hinckley just edged out his other half back in uh, Tim McGrath with another polished display, as we just see him kicking a left footer there. But um, they did get a lot of drive from that half back area. Hinckley and uh, McGrath, as I mentioned. And Hanley's tied it up a little bit when it went uh, behind them. And uh, of course, Barnes, who'd come into the side early in the game, was a good, productive player around the ground in the first term and after that it was catch up football unfortunately for Essendon and um, unfortunately for Simon Madden he had to leave the ground before he really had any influence on the game. Terry Danaher I thought tried very hard um, but it really made his job a little harder with their, their setup up four. They opted for the five man and four man and times three man forward line. Why only, did it make it hard? Why? Well I just think he had that many players he had to cope with and they weren't really bringing the ball up. Uh, with a lot of system, they were chipping it around and uh, making a lot of mistakes, unforced errors and uh, again Sheedy made a lot of moves and I'd say one, there must be an extra strong magnet on the uh, clipboard of Flood because he wasn't moved until the third quarter and was completely uh, obliterated full back. Now Brownless had eight free kicks given against him, were they for wrestling uh, off the ball or during the... I wouldn't have known that, Ron. I really wouldn't have known uh, he had eight. He may have had a couple for holding the ball because he, he actually was claimed a couple of times while he was sort of the playmaker. So I don't think that was a, a real problem for right. Geelong. Kel, do you see uh, Malcolm Blight uh, using Jeff Miles in a capacity in the forward line come the finals? He what, started on the bench and came in the last quarter. Come kicked on, a kicked a couple of good goals and has kicked a lot of goals yeah. when he's come on. So he's a handy player to have. They seem to have the players that are capable of kicking goals. As Young Brown is another one, but um, it's probably up the other end they have a more problems also see, yeah. yeah and Brown kicked a lot of goals early he hasn't kicked too many in the second half of the season he played at played the back, full back line yeah. before he kicked it and made great ground it was a top effort for Long to, uh, to take that mark and finally goal one of my favourite players coming up Gary Hocking gee I could have taken that mark I think <laughs> you I still <laughs> could have oh, well, yeah. well. this was Paul Hills <laughs> A, uh, a good youngster, and that was a, a good slips catch there from, uh, for the Essendon player. Well, Billy Brownless wants to feature. We've got to give him mark of the day sometime. What a fly oh. from Billy.